Today we are talking about, what are we talking about today? Cost of quality. Because this is an accounting class. You know, quality, you can kind of talk about conceptually in a lot of classes. We're going to talk about cost of quality in here. Can you read the stuff on the board? I have no idea why it is so dark. Can we make it? There, that's a little, that's a little better. Okay, so why don't you all write this down? Or maybe it's already written down for you. Is it already written down for you? Can you get that on film? Is that looking okay? Good. I have no idea what I can do to fix this. Anybody know? Ooh. Is that better? No. <laughs> that didn't help. That didn't help. I'm just pressing buttons. Ooh, that really didn't help. Oh, my heavens. Oh, upper. There we go. I pressed autofocus. <laughs> Unfortunately, we are stuck with. I don't want you all to take a nap. That's not your intention? Okay. Just as long as all the lights. Is it better? Yes. Okay. Even the camera person is nodding her head quite happily. This will be an interesting class. But you know, by the end of class, it's going to be dark outside. Okay, we got this all written down. So we've got great differences in quality of products. So, you know, we've established that, you know, Fossil isn't quite a Rolex. And she's not paying attention to me because she's uh, looking at her phone. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so we've established that Fossil is not Rolex, but, you know, it might be better than Casio. And those are. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, those are differences in grade. Right? Those are differences in grade. Because uh, they, they all do the same thing, right? They all tell time. I, used to, I, used to, I have a friend who does not replace batteries in watches because he buys the cheapest thing he can find at Walmart because more often than not, he breaks them before the battery wears out. And so, if it ever arrives at a point in time where he needs a new battery, he just buys a new watch because they're usually it's cheaper. Cheap, it's like cheap sunglasses. Yeah, you cheat. And so, and so, I mean, they all do the same thing. Quality of design is, reflects how well is the product itself designed. Quality of conformance reflects how well was the uh, product manufactured, how consistent with the design. What, what? Degree to which product service meets design specifications. We are, you're going to appreciate me hurrying up pretty soon. Because there's an in-class assignment today. You knew that, didn't you? That's why you got to bring your books. And so we want, I want to get through this theory stuff to give you as much time as possible to do the in-class assignment. So you all knew that, right? I'm sure glad you are here, you that come, you know, when there's no assignment due, you know. Our quality is our best assurance of customer allegiance. Welcome, Armando. Oh, did you, and he borrowed a, a writing utensil. Yeah, 
You need it in good. Uh, we need, you need to have the right intents. Our quality is our best assurance of customer allegiance. Our strongest defense against foreign competition and the only path to sustain growth and earnings, according to Mr. Welch. And you don't have to write all these things down. They're just kind of pithy quality things. People will go out of their way. Come on in, Anthony. You and Armando. Armando just beat you, barely. People will go out of their way to buy a superior product, and you can charge them a toll for the trip. Who's Mr. Purdue? What's he have to do with? Chickens. It takes a long time to per for people to forget a lousy experience. Reputation is a very perishable product, said by the man who I think was president of Ford about the time, or shortly after, Pintos were blowing up <laughs> when, they, uh, when they were rear-ended. Um, which is true, right? Uh, there's another slide that talks about, eh, we can talk about this right now. Are we more likely, marketing majors, who are the marketing majors? Are we more likely to talk to our friends about a good experience or a bad experience? Bad experience. Bad experience. Oh, there is an opportunity for me to talk about that pretty soon. Uh, and I will. Now I know what I'm going to do. Okay. What's the, what's the restaurant in Warrensburg that would, is most likely to give you food poisoning? King Chef. King Chef. I unfortunately cannot go there. No can do. Huh? Shaded to the right. Shaded to the right. If you catch a resistor before it is used and throw it away, you lose two cents. If you don't find it until it's been soldered into a computer the component, it may cost 10 bucks to repair the part. If you don't catch the component until it's in a $5,000 computer, the repair expenses may exceed the manufacturing cost. So here's, here's a cost of poor quality. So this is hinting at what we're going to talk about today. Cost of quality. So this is what I want you to write down, and this is where our, our assignment's coming out of these. So please write these down. We've got four categories of cost of quality. Four categories of cost of quality. 